now that we talked a little bit about forms of energy, what do you think, what form do you think you used so far today the most? Uh, Chemical, electrical, mechanical. Electrical. The sun beamed on me when I caught the bus. Yeah, so what are maybe four or five sources of renewable energy renewable that you can name? Can I give a definition for you? Um, well, and it's like energy you can use again. Yeah, exactly. Like the light. Mm -hmm. like the wind. Solar. Yep, wind. Light. Solar. Hydro. Solar is light. Hydro, so that's water. Electric. So wind, water, sun. Geothermal. Does anyone, does anyone know what that is? Thermal. Geo is earth, right? And thermal is heat. So it's taking heat from the earth's cores. Non-renewable resources are some of them are called fossil Rainy. fuels. Okay. Non-renewable resources are resources that can't be used over. Uh -huh. What'd you say? Gas. Gas, yeah. So there's Nuclear. natural gas. Nuclear, mm -hmm. I heard. Oil. 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 Uh, how do you make coal now? Okay. That's why it's non-renewable. That's why it's non-renewable. You got a battery? Yeah, like this. A battery has a positive end. If you look at it, it has a little positive, it has a negative. Okay. If you run a wire outside of home like that, no, you give didn't. that a try and see what that does. You said put the wire so that you dropped it. That's why. We're going to drop it. Oh, oh, oh this is a good Yeah. You dropped it. Stop shaking. Okay. Your job is to hold the wire to the other side. Oh, baby. You're going to touch that. <laughs> okay. It's to try to have two batteries nose to tail like that. Four might do it. Okay. Four might do it. Okay. It has a number and a V or a number and a volt on it. Can you read the battery? Okay, I want to read it. It's 1.5 volts. 1 1.5 volts. Okay. Uh, when you stick two together, how many volts do you think you have? Three. Three. Three volts. Okay. And then we stick the other one and it was 4.5. 4 4.5 indeed it was. And that's it. And when you, and when you stuck four it together, six you have volts. six volts. Six volts is the pressure that you can push on electrons with. This battery pushes on electrons with a pressure of 1.5 volts. You put two batteries together, it pushes with a pressure of? Two, three. Three volts, okay. Three batteries together, a pressure oh of? Four. Four volts. The first word you need to know and memorize today is volts. Is volts. Okay. You're going to take that steam and run a turbine. You're going to be the turbine. You're going to be the transformer. The tran you're going to be the generator. Uh, yeah. And I want to be the transformer. She's going to be the transformer. You want to be the transformer? Right. House. Mr. House. I'll be a rapper. Okay, so you can. No, make your hands bigger. 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 You hold it. Come on. Don't spill any. Bigger. Pull your thumbs back. Okay, there you go. To the. Go to take it and make it to the boiler. <laughs> You're going to be the put into electricity. Is anybody not going to drop none of it? Open your head. You're going to drop it. You're going to, you to take it up to a. Take it to Erica, who is going to to take it down to 110 volts to bring it into the house. Oh, yeah. And you're going to use that electricity. You're going to take it. 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 Look at that. They take this coal and they run it on the train and they burn it and they make electricity out of it. They, they lose electricity, uh, oh, energy all the way along. All that is lost energy. The coal coming in at the front, you'd only get 30 units of electricity out at the back. So if, you, the back. if you had a dollar going in at the front, you'd only get 30 cents back at the end. So and out of out of a handful that you you know you all had at the beginning there, you'd have this little bit left over by the time you get to the house. Yeah. So the house is the place where we could actually conserve or the school. Mm -hmm. 
So what did the turbines actually do in a generator? So the coal gets burnt, and the whole reason for that is to create to heat water and create steam. Yeah. Yeah. So which bulb is cheaper in the end? Yeah. The flow. Yeah. 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 I got that. Yeah. 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 This is the number of kilowatt hours you use. I mean, this number of kilowatts it talks. This is the number of hours. You use 192 of them. Each one costs you over more than 50 cents a day. That's right. So you put in that number. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So what's your conclusion? So that's a bulb is cheaper, and you will save one hundred and eleven dollars and twenty six cents. So how much would you save if if you changed all the bulbs in your home? Do you estimate? Five hundred fifty six dollars and three cents. How much was the fluorescent light bulb? Thirty three dollars and eight. Is that a big difference? That's eighty one cents. Yeah, it's a big difference. So which bulb is cheaper in the end? Fluorescent. Right. Fluorescent. 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 Did anyone calculate how much you would save in one year? I got one. One hundred and eleven. One hundred and twenty-six cents. Wow. So did anyone calculate how many bulbs they could change with the house and how much they'd save? Yeah. Like Remember, I would say five hundred and fifty-six dollars and thirty cents. What you have here is the boiler. This is what heats the building up. This is it. It's a hot water boiler. And what it does, it takes hot water and it circulates all the way around the building and brings it right back and it comes back to the boiler. Heats it up again, reheat it, and just circulates around and around and around. And this is fired by? This is a gas boiler. Okay. And, and for a long time ago when it was boys club, they used to take showers. So they needed to hold out the hot water. This is where they were storing the water until it was ready to be used. Oh. Now, use because you used to use it to wash your hands with. Mm -hmm. Now we use this tank. This is a smaller tank. That use less energy. You can see the line. Is a, he's got a sight tube, which is just a glass tube that's hooked up top to bottom there. And the water on that sight tube is exactly where the water is in that tank. Right, exactly. Thank you, Mr. Polite. All right. You have a good one. You too.